Syria has once more kept in touch with the UN requesting that the world body make prompt move against the US drove bombarding effort, which is murdering regular folks and destroying the nation's framework. The Syrian Foreign and Expatriates Ministry upbraided rehashed U.S. assaults on regular citizens and the nation's foundation in two letters routed to the U.N. boss and the Security Council administrator. The service said the U.S. was occupied with atrocities and violations against humankind in Syria under the guise of battling ISIS. Press TV reports. The letters referred to a lethal U.S. airstrike on al Sawar town in eastern Day Razor province on Wednesday and a comparative air attack on Markadi town in the northwestern Haska province, which killed various regular folks. The service blamed the U.S. for being occupied with atrocities and wrongdoings against mankind in Syria under the appearance of battling Daesh. Damascus additionally lamented that a few nations, which case to regard human rights and universal law, are individuals from the U.S. Drove Coalition, encouraging them to leave a union that has defaced their notoriety and shed a lot of Assyrians' blood in their name. In the letters, Syria requested a quick activity by the U.N. Security Council to stop uncouth wrongdoings and gross infringement of global philanthropic law by the U.S. and its partners. The U.S. and its partners have been besieging Syria since September 2014. The strikes have brought about numerous non-military personnel losses and neglected to satisfy their announced point of countering fear-based oppression. Day rouse or to be retaken in seven days. On Thursday, battling seethed on in Day rouse or, with one Syrian armed force officer saying the vital city will be recovered from Daesh in seven days. Psychological oppressors, he stated, were utilizing substantial weapons hazardous loaded vests and auto bombs to moderate armed force progresses, which have picked up energy lately. The city of De Razor will be freed in seven days and no more and will free a portion of suburbia as well, the officer recognized just as Ibrahim included. The cost will without a doubt be high. It's a testing battleground. From thick urban territories to rich waterway banks and even trenches, he said. Prior this month, Syrian government powers broke the three-year-long Daesh attack on Day Razor. With Daesh's resistance lines broken, a ragtag gathering of for the most part Kurdish activists bolstered by the U.S. has additionally been on the walk in an offer to cut out in a dependable balance in the oil and gas-rich area.